Hey everybody, just another little video here. I um, wanted to talk about a subject, it's kind of an interesting subject. Today is the 28th of December, 2022. It's about five minutes after four o'clock p.m. Uh, it's getting dark and uh, most of the, the snow is off the trees because of the wind we had. A lot of it blew off. Um, if you saw the last video where I was walking in this exact spot, um, but 2023 is going to be in kind of a unique anniversary for me, if you will. And that is, it's going to mark the 25th year that I have not had health insurance. Oh boy. That's a controversial subject, isn't it? Yes, it is. Um, but I just wanted to make a few points, some things to consider. As a lot of people are having money problems, you have to start cutting things out of your life that you don't need. And I can tell you from 25 years of experience, almost 25 years, that uh, you don't need health insurance, okay? Um, point number one, uh, the only reason I had health insurance in the past was because I was working somewhere and they provided it. Trouble, here's trouble. Um, <laughs> son and I are out here walking, he likes to run ahead. But um, when I was working at the last job that I had, where they gave me health insurance, um, I was into extreme motorsports. And uh, I lived like a insured uh, guy at the time. He said, what do you mean by that? I wasn't really careful because I thought, well, if I have an accident, um, my insurance will cover it, you know? And, uh, you know, and if I have, uh, if I wreck my motorcycle or I wreck my car or whatever else, um, then, uh, go on, come on, run, run along. If I wreck my car or whatever, well, insurance covers it. And it's kind of ironic. I was actually living a lot more unhealthy and a lot more dangerously having insurance than if I had had none. You know, people think, oh, it's probably very dangerous to live without insurance. Well, you can make those arguments, but I'm careful now. I think before I do something. Um, if I'm in a vehicle uh, going over 100 miles an hour is not really a thrill anymore because I know the danger of it. Back when I had insurance, I did 175 miles an hour on a motorcycle on the road. And I would regularly go 120 to 150 miles an hour on that with that same motorcycle. Kawasaki Ninja ZX-11 that was built, uh, had motor work done and exhaust and the whole thing. It doesn't matter, but uh, I lived dangerously back then with insurance. And um, I get this thing, you know, well, you don't have insurance. Brian, uh, what would you do if you had an accident with your chainsaw? Well, I wear chaps now. I didn't wear chaps in the past. Chainsaw safety chaps for my legs. Um, well, what would happen if you cut yourself? Well, I wear gloves. Um, and I have cut myself. I have had a few bad situations. Even had to go to the hospital twice and just explain, I don't have medical insurance. There's no health insurance here. So, and they only charged me a few hundred dollars for the work that they did because I had to pay out of pocket. Um, and see, as a Christian, I can also trust my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And I can say, he will provide for me. He will take care of me. Um, and the Lord has 25 years. So what if your wife, you know, what if she's going to have a baby? Oh, what would you do then? She becomes the worldly term pregnant. Um, well, we did have a baby uh, right there. Very active one. And uh, eight years ago, and I delivered him. Uh, no assistance, no midwife, no anything else. Although the Lord was there helping me. So I can't say no assistance. And, um, but we had a natural free birth at home. It was very interesting. Uh, you say, would you do it again? Uh, tomorrow. I would. Absolutely, I would do it again. I never regretted it. Uh, it was a great experience. So, um, living by faith as a Christian, uh, you can, there's a lot of people I've met that talk, big talks, you know, and I've, I've met Baptists and whatever else down through the years, and 
Oh, God provided us with a house. We live by faith and everything. God, God helped us when we had a house fire. Oh, how did God do that? Well, you know, we had to go to court for a little while and, and we finally won the case against our insurance company. They didn't want to pay out. <laughs> okay. I don't think the Lord did that. Okay. I mean, it's good to give the Lord credit uh, where credit's due. Don't get me wrong. But um, uh, the Lord doesn't work through insurance companies. Uh, the Lord is supposed to be your protector and your provider. So... And I'm not joking, that was actually a, a literal situation when we were in Pennsylvania. They were bragging about how that God helped their lawyer to, you know, uh, force the insurance company to pay out. And they got a whole new house, you know, and all this other stuff. And God provided because we lived by faith. <laughs> uh, no. Um, <clears throat> sorry. So, as times get rougher, brethren, um, you have to start to think about what matters most and a lot of us are going to be forced into situations where we will live by faith uh, we the just shall live by faith uh, if we want to be just in, a, in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation uh, we're supposed to shine as lights in the world um, then we have to be different than the lost world and uh, I'll tell you what there's some things that cause Christians to get into a whole lot of sin and you know, the, the whole insurance industry thing is such a big scam. Um, just incredible. I have a whole study on it. I'll put links to it at the end of this video. Um, but you don't need insurance, brethren. You really don't need insurance. And I'll tell you what it does. It forces you to diagnose yourself. To look for what is wrong with me. And, and the symptoms. Uh, symptoms are not disease. Let me just say that, too. Um, when you have symptoms, that doesn't mean that you're sick, necessarily. Uh, that What that means is you are nut nutrition deficient. You know, all of these uh, immune deficiency, you know, things that they come out with. I won't name any because I'm on GooniTube, and they'll shut my channel down because I speak freely and tell people the truth. Um, but, you know, immune deficiency. How do you increase immunity? By putting chemicals into your bloodstream. Uh, no. Uh, by uh, eating properly. Proper nutrition increases immunity. Shouldn't be that difficult to figure that out. But, uh, you know, just I just want to say this to encourage people. And maybe you were just brand new. Maybe you just lost your job. Brand new, you know, with the no insurance thing. Maybe you just lost your job and you're thinking, what am I going to do? This is really scary. Uh, what can I do? Well, um, you don't need insurance. And like I said, 25 years. Uh, I mean, if you have somebody that would say, well, I've been without insurance for two years. Well, that's good. But uh, 25 years? That's longer than a lot of my viewers have been alive. So, um, and this one right here, Rarely ever sick, never been vaccinated. Uh, yes, we're anti-vaxxers, I know, it's terrible. Um, <laughs> but uh, never been vaccinated, rarely ever gets sick. Um, only been sick a couple of times. He was out playing and he got sweated in this synthetic suit that he has on, this snow suit. And he got sweaty and we took a big hike and we shouldn't have done that. We should have put some dry clothes on and he got a little bit of a cold. Lasted for about a day and that was it. Um, He's thrown up a few times because he ate too much of the wrong stuff. You know, we got, uh, what was it, uh, peanut butter cups or something? Yeah, chocolate. Peanut, but chocolate peanut butter cups. Yeah. And he was fine, but I wasn't. Yeah, you threw up, huh? Yeah. yeah. Bad news. So, we have to walk back now through the dark, scary Can woods. Can me go down and do No, I can't. I don't want people to understand that you're crazy. I want them to think that you're just a somber little boy that is sheltered so he doesn't have any fun and doesn't enjoy life. Yeah. Uh, yeah, really. Um, you know, so just wanted to do this little video here real quickly. Like I said, you know, if you just lost a job or whatever and you're thinking, what do we do about medical insurance? Uh, you don't need it. If you're in pretty good health, um, even if you're not in great health, you know, get control of your nutrition, 
you will be amazed at what nutrition can do for you. I mean, living out here is wonderful, does amazing things for your immune system. Um, the essential oils basically that the trees put off, if you get into studying that, the balsam fir and the spruce and the pine, they actually, you can smell them and, and uh, really good for you. Uh, but, you know, fresh air and everything else, of course, exercise like we are doing right now. Um, but even just the right types of food. And I don't mean all organic, you know, whatever type of stuff. Just eating stuff without a whole bunch of ingredients. Um, eat as close to nature and natural as you can. Uh, raw foods when it comes to vegetables and fruit as much as possible. You know, obviously if you cook a potato, it's going to taste better than eating it raw. Um, when it comes to meat, you want to cook it. Uh, and that's fine. Um, and you can be in really good health. And uh, you'll find that uh, after a while, you start thinking, why would I even want uh, medical insurance? At least that's where I got to. So, um, I keep switching arms because it's kind of a, I use a camera. I don't have my little GoPro thing or whatever, the Sony deal I've used in other videos. But uh, back there's, and there's Oliver. So, we're just going for a little walk before it gets dark here. But it's starting to get pretty dark, so I guess I should probably quit the video here. But uh, just an encouragement, brethren, just a challenge to you. If you're someone that thinks that you can't live without medical insurance and all the other types of ins insurances, I mean, I realize you have to have vehicle insurance. Okay, I get it. Um, it's, we're not, we don't have an option on that. Uh, I mean, you could probably say you drive without it or something. I get it, you know, but uh, you get too far into some of the um, patriotic type of stuff. You start to kind of lose focus. I've seen that with people. But uh, medical insurance, homeowner's insurance, life insurance policies. I don't have time for any of them. Uh, you do what you want with your life. It's your life. It's uh, not some kind of an unpardonable sin and whatever else but uh it's a real blessed thing to know that your life is in the hands of the lord and um all the different things i've gone through he's always preserved me even when i've been really stupid and sinned and done some dumb things and he has to correct me and chasten me as his son even when that has happened um he still gets me through it he still gives me the strength to go on and and uh, get through the pain. <laughs> I learn things too. That's important. Uh, I learn how to deal with um, bruised muscles and sore things and whatever else. Uh, you learn a lot. So it is really getting dark now. Um, not really any good way to do this. To stay where it's light enough under a bunch of trees right now so let me come out here into the open hopefully get a little bit better lighting okay that's a little bit better so have to get inside get the stove going um, one of the beauties of living off grid is you heat and eat at the same time with the same uh, device if you will or the same I don't know what you, what would you call a wood stove? How do you classify that in modern terms? Um, but <laughs> appliance or something, I don't know. But uh, and you don't we, have to pay that much too. You just do firewood and that's right. it. Right. Yeah, just do some firewood. So, well, we'll quit for now, and uh, guess we'll see everybody in the next video. Can you say thank you for watching? Thank you for watching.